hello everybody once again it is wolf johnson back with another reaction video today we're back in the red catalog we're looking at crucifier culture numerous recommendations uh, on the last ren video to so check out this one as we're talking about kind of like a political or a social awareness in music um they said if you like if you like money game you'll probably like crucifier culture so as i said in the last video like i'm big time I'm big into conscious hip hop and just conscious music in general. I think as artists, if you're not, you know, speaking on your life experience or what you know um, to some true degree, then I think uh, there's a miss opportunity there. I feel like the role of an artist, so the responsibility of an artist, whether or not they choose to, you know, walk in that, is to really open our eyes to things that are right in front of us or say things in a way. Uh, that resonates with our feelings that we don't always have words for, or simply to communicate to one another, you know, above, you know, transcending bureaucracy and, and uh, you know, status quo and, you know, all the lines that are drawn to keep us from discussing things in a way uh, that are uninterrupted. So I think art has a fantastic uh, vehicle to, pro to provide discussion in a way and i'm sure looking at ren's videos you know you look at ren's high ren video there's like psychiatrists and therapists talking about it it's helping people and if we can help each other in that way why don't we do that like as an artist but you know artists sometimes just want money ren is not one of those artists and i i get that sense i don't know him but the guy's doing his own art and he's been doing it for so long um He's been doing interesting, unique art, saying, you know, this kind of content with or without uh, the uh, spotlight on him for so long. Now he's got it and he deserves it. Shut up, Wolf. <laughs> Let's get into this crucifier culture. Ooh, ooh, wait. Cool video. A murderer's mind, born into a murderer's ah. Is yep. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! Oh this is a Tom Morello. And now you care more about your news shoes, the loose screws, and minds of politicians that abuse you to shape you, break you, consumerism breaks you until your thoughts are end you. They make you wanna hate you. So you keep buying, buying, buying corporation, buying the fire, fraudulent liars and burning empires, tapping to the telephone wires and history fires to glorifies and justifies our evil. It justifies the wars that bring destruction upon people. Every single human born equal. They treat you like an asset, not a human man, it's see through. Slavery through debt. You think that mortgage is to help you? Bill stacking high, killing dreams, money making. You, lion tames you. The land of the free. Irony. A hierarchy, folks. Education kills the fire in me. Still, I stand strong like two towers that were knocked down by greedy men's thirst for power and now greed. Woo! Yes. Come to greed. Fuck greed. Silent, I breathe. Burn money. Greed makes us bleed, makes us bleed, makes us bleed. Our political system is a farce. Democracy will not exist till actions be louder than money. Wealth is a poison, honey. Another money making holiday for the Easter bunny. Have a sock out your soul, I drink Coca Cola. Lining up the pockets of the fat controller. Selling fear to the people, let it spread like a bowl. A propaganda machine. Remember the dream, it's hopeless. Nikola Tesla, 1883. The DC common system fought against the AC. Yes. <laughs> any better because people don't like change when money's at the center move let me enter from the epicenter poison parliamentary who's the main contender oh it's you mr president evident that the counterintelligence is a hell of a prevalent <laughs> that's a cool video i love that animation it feels like as an infographic, it feels like it's teaching me something because it has that format on the video. The song is cool. I like he had that one part was like, down, 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 down. that's like, that's pretty much 
like uh, uh, that's a Tom Morello riff from a Rage Against the Machine song, which is it fits here. Also, I'm sure that riff has been used else other places as well. Um, but that jumps out to me. Lyrical content, bang, 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 bang on. Ren is doing some work here. Um, yeah, this is right up my alley. This kind of stuff. His there's he has a very good hybrid. You can really tell he's rooted in old school hip hop, though he's updating it with uh, a denser kind of vernacular. There's something about the structures where it's like. The ebb and flow of his rhythms and rhymes, cadences, is very old school, but the words he's using is, like, way more advanced um, than, I guess, in retrospect, because most old school hip-hop was uh, to simplify the rhyming, because a lot of the time you were doing it live or freestyling, uh, the words were simpler. He does a really, a really good job of kind of existing in a space that is embracing both new and old and i i get that from ren all the time from all of his songs he's pulling things that are familiar uh from classics and then applying them in a new way he's just really a like complete artist in that sense and i have yet to see a video that didn't live up to the music in a way that complements it this video really enhances that, in my opinion. This is a fantastic video. Damn. But yes, yes, yes. I love this song. What do you got? What do you got for opinions on this one? I want to know. More like this, right? More like this. And I said it in the, one of the previous Ren videos. is like when he starts breaking down, he's talking about Nikola Tesla starts dropping dates and stuff like that. That reminds me so much of KRS-One. If you are like an old school hip hop head, KRS-One stands for Knowledge Reigns Supreme Over Nearly Everyone. In his early days, uh, Boogie Down Productions was the rap group. So if you ever want to listen to KRS-One, you can listen to KRS-One, the solo artist who has like 20 albums or something. Probably more than that by now. Uh, and he's like a legendary MC. Or you can listen to his his group that preceded his solo act, Boogie Down Productions, which uh, in their own right was kind of... Uh, critical piece to conscious rap development but anyways if you listen to some of that bdp you'll get the same kind of setup and delivery where he sets up like a date or he'll he'll take your your preconceptions of something and then he'll break it down in steps adding dates historical events and stuff like that in a way that's stylistic and kind of cool though if you go back and listen to it now it's not going to be nearly as smooth but it's the same concept, and I love that. I love that about Ren, because KRS-One is my favorite rapper, just because he's always, like, his, his, his mission is to, is to educate his people and liberate his people and uplift his people. But by accepting that mission, he's, he's willing to do it in a way that will, will bring about violence if necessary. And one of my favorite KRS-One lines is... Uh, when I say stop the violence, how do you think I'm stopping that? A protest, a rally, a flower, a ban? Oh no, I got the baseball bat in my hand. You know what I mean? And, and I get that sense from Ren. Like he's saying things courageously, fearlessly, and he's confronting these things head on in, in a fairly aggressive way, which I really uh, respect and appreciate. Thank you for this recommendation. Is there more like this? I could look myself, but the risk is if I start go digging, I'm going to start seeing these and then I won't have anything like we won't be able to react to this together anymore. So uh, if you can direct me, it's preferred, though, you know, if you can't, I'm happy to just dive into red and enjoy it for what it is. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope everybody's doing so well, so, so well. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.